Hi, my name is Maria. And my name is David. And welcome to our 450 square foot apartment in New York City. Originally, we were looking for a one bedroom and I was like, a door is my non-negotiable. I need a door. But when we walked into this apartment, it's a huge apartment compared to other one bedrooms in the area as well. So when we saw this fake wall, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad and it really helps us make this pretty big living room space and be able to divide it and add a properly sized bedroom. It's not like the usual fake walls that you see in New York. When I wake up in the morning, it feels like a one bedroom even though it's not because the space is still pretty big. We knew right away that we wanted to highlight these huge windows, especially because they have a really beautiful frame around them. So they almost look like picture frames of real life. And that was our first paint project. The green we found from our friends that they uh, painted an accent wall as well. We thought that that would give, you know, the beauty of the outside of the street, you know, the trees, the leaves, it would get, do it justice. So we really liked that green so much so that when we were looking at the fireplace, we were like, oh, this is too white, it's too blunt. So we took a risk and we painted the green outside of the fireplace to also make that fireplace pop because it has so many beautiful details. We really wanted to make that pop out as well. So it was really nice that we had extra paint left over for that. We wanted to create different zones to help us add more rooms. We love this carpet and I really wanted to bring it because it's pretty big, but we used it as a divider between the living room, the dining room, the music, the little desk area. So we made it so that we had to put basically all of our living space on this carpet. And it's nice because when we sit here, we just focus on the TV. We don't have, like we're not looking at the dining room area. The dining room is somewhere else. That's also a nice trick to sit away from other areas so that in your mind, you're not in that room. If I could live in an anthropology store, I would. Like, I would pay to live in an anthropology store. <laughs> so this is my favorite anthropology pillow. As you can see, it has a lot of the colors that we have in the apartment. I started off with this as like the heart of the apartment. This was my main inspiration and it's good because I don't have any background in knowing what colors go well together, but this pillow helped me get there. Well, the way we did that was by blocking a lot of the space with different colors. We start off here with the live music and the music corner. We mainly separated it with the orange arc. We absolutely fell in love with this neon light on Etsy. We had just enough amount of space to fit a piano. We actually found this on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. We got a great deal. It was under $300 mm -hmm. for the whole like stand, the chair, the piano. And we're big on lights. So we got the little neon lights that you can turn on and off. You can, you know, dim them. Welcome to our living room. We got this couch on Facebook Marketplace actually. Um, it was $300, but... It was a four floor walk up <laughs> and we had to <laughs> bring it downstairs. That was really fun. <laughs> we knew it had a lot of height, but we didn't want to take away a lot of your eye real estate with a big couch. So this was perfect and it's super comfy. Like I fall asleep here all the time. Yeah. It's really nice. And this part of the living room doesn't get too much light. So we got this nightstand from West Elm mm -hmm. with this little lamp that fits perfectly on this right side. And then here, I guess it's like the main area where you have the light pink wall. We really don't like just having white walls, mm. but we also didn't want to add a really strong color here because we already have the dark green. So we thought a light pink would be really cute. And I love pink, thankfully, David. I'm okay with it. Yeah, <laughs> he appreciates the warm tone it gives to the apartment. So when we were thinking about what to do with our dining situation, we knew we wanted to leave it in that corner. We really wanted a round wooden table. And thankfully, uh, we found one on Facebook Marketplace, so we also picked that up. We didn't want the chairs to be high up to take more of that visual real estate. We wanted them to kind of be cute and fit right under the table. And then we got the painting online growing up Oranges are like a big thing in Florida. I kind of wanted to bring a little bit of that here. The colors are pretty bright and strong themselves, but they're different from everywhere else. Like you have like that dark blue that we don't have anywhere else. And then you have the orange mm -hmm. um, that also complements the music area, but it's its own tone. Um, so I think it makes its own color palette for that dining area. 
my desk area is i think one of my favorite places as soon as i walked into this apartment i knew that area was going to be for my desk i don't see any of the living room while i'm working so i can just focus on my work and you have the beautiful huge windows so whenever i just like want to look around i'm not just staring at a wall i can look to either window it's so bright and then i wanted to decorate that wall with things that are important to me like a picture of David and I on our first trip to Georgia. I'm from Colombia, so I have like a little Colombian house there. The bedroom, um, we knew right away that that is the way we wanted to design the space, having the bed face one wall versus putting it in a corner. We both hate making a bed when it's all pushed into a corner. So we knew we wanted a warm color, but not too much that it would take up a lot of our energy as well. And so I looked to my inspiration pillow and I saw this beautiful, warm yellow, almost like a mustard yellow. So we went to Home Depot. Thankfully we chose the right one um, and we just painted the whole wall and it just adds a, like a happy, warm color to the room. Um, so it's really nice. And when we do fall asleep, we don't stare at the wall and the bookshelves. We've always had that combo where it's like the TV with the bookshelf, like everywhere I go, I do that. And we wanted to add a mirror to the room. The mirror reflects the window. And so it almost feels like it's an additional source of light. So Chonka is our eight month old Bernie Doodle puppy. We got her four months ago um, and she loves it here. So when we originally designed the apartment, Chonka wasn't here. So in the fireplace, we had wood just to make it look cute. But when she came, we decided to make that space her own, in like a cozy little cave. So we took out the wood and put in her bed and her little um, food bowl, water bowl right next to it. Our product DIY is definitely the radiator covers. I guess this building is very pre-war. So the radiators were very dirty, rusty, and like not appealing to the eye. So I decided to make a radiator cover and also a window seat for Chonka and also us to use sometimes. So whenever we leave Chonka alone, we all go outside. She goes to the window and just people stares and basically it's her television. Maria always wanted to put her mug down somewhere. So I built her a floating side table. So I went to Home Goods and I bought like uh, paper towel rack. Pa paper towel rack, and I just disassembled it and like made it into a side <laughs> table. I also made Maria one next to her side of the bed, so she could put her phone at night and just whatever she needs. So I'm semi lazy, so <laughs> <laughs> I did not like going to the kitchen, even though this is a 400 square foot apartment. <laughs> so I made a coaster holder and a placemat, and also salt and pepper shaker holders, so I, I would not have to be running back and forth from the kitchen. So moving into a small apartment um, is difficult just for storage purposes. So we like to hide a lot of things everywhere. So we have a lot of non-kitchen things in the kitchen, a lot of storage under the couch. Um, thankfully our ceilings are really high. So if you go into the closet, it's really high up. And so we added more shelving to go up for things that we don't really need. And then thankfully we have two closets in the, the bathroom, but um, you know, we keep those four cleaning products. Maybe. So the bathroom is a pretty big bathroom just because it has a long hallway. We found this gorgeous orange curtain for, <laughs> for the bathtub in Home Goods. A beautiful find. We love the texture that it adds and it just makes it so cozy. Our kitchen is small but sweet. We do not make big meals at all. We are very lazy in the kitchen. The one thing the kitchen didn't have, it was a microwave or even space for a microwave. So we got an air fryer that fits perfectly in this like weird counter space. And then it does have great cabinet space. It even comes out a little bit out to the living room but we use every single nook and cranny in there. We painted the walls really light purple that maybe only we can see, but mm -hmm. we love it. When I first moved in, this was my apartment. This is my first big girl apartment by myself, no roommates. And then David moved in. So we started, you know, bringing in his stuff, like his desk area, building, you know, areas for him and then we got Chonka. So the energy has changed and thankfully we have the same design eye and mm -hmm. I have design ideas that David can execute. So it's really nice to just have this teamwork that we have of handyman and design lady. Um, but yeah, and then Chonka just adds so much happiness and joy and craziness to the 
to the apartment. I think the fact that we've put in so much love to this apartment just gives us back so much love too.